is Beta News. And they did an article recently about Firefox 3.6 Beta 5 uh, browser that it crashed, they pointed out, when it loaded a particular web page. And I was curious, what was the problem? I mean, the renderer, the Gecko renderer in Firefox is fairly mature. It's been around for uh, a long time. And uh, I was curious what was wrong with this page. So I thought I'd test it out, uh, not in Firefox, but in uh, Google Chrome, which I'm loading up right now. I also want to try it in Ice Weasel, the version that I use with my system. Uh, I run Debian Lenny, so we use Ice Weasel, uh, with, which is just Firefox with the branding and logos removed. And also tried it with Opera version 10.10 .10 for Linux. First off, I see that it takes a while to load the page. The page itself contains almost a megabyte of HTML code. It's also very complex code. It has divs and tables, a lot of CSS elements. And it's a real workout for any uh, web page. The page itself says it has some HTML5 elements, so you would expect some older browsers to uh, choke. And if the HTML5 rendering is not complete in Firefox 3.6, then I would expect it to choke as well. But uh, it's taking a while to load. And still loading. Uh, Chrome thinks that there's a problem with this page and wants me to kill it, but I want to wait. I load up my system monitor and see that there's a fairly high RAM usage and a fairly high CPU usage. Uh, looking at the graphical display of my system monitor, the CPU usage is 100%. This includes, of course, the system monitor. Uh, the network activity is fairly low, there's one spike, so I suspect the issue is not with uh, downloading the page, it's with uh, rendering. So the memory usage is going up and up, uh, one thread has 136 meg megs already. hundred thirty three megs. So the page is now loaded and we see the different elements on the page on the right there some floating divs, transparencies, uh, tables. Uh, it's a large and complex page but it appears to load just fine with uh, Chrome. So I'm going to test it now with Ice Weasel. All right, put 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 the URL in. And the page begins to load. Right away, there's an error, a JavaScript error. And I edited this video so I could tell you that nothing else is going to happen here. I may as well just shut the browser down and move on with the experiments. Uh, loading up Opera for Linux. Uh, the page is loading now. And as I say, I'm using version 10.10 .10 of uh, Opera for Linux. The page is loading, loading rather slowly. One mistake I made when I made this video is that I did not close down Firefox. Uh, Chrome initially so 
there's some CPU usage issues and uh, some RAM issues. Um, Opera probably loaded a whole lot faster than it appears here. Okay, the page is loaded. And I see that there's some elements that are missing. Uh, the floating divs are not there. Upper RAM use is, is uh, 81 megabyte. Uh, as I, I said earlier, I forgot to close out Chrome. So Opera could have used that extra RAM. But the page did load, but the rendering was not complete. Some elements are missing. In conclusion, uh, that web page, uh, I was debating whether or not it was a fair test. Uh, sure, Firefox choked on it. And also, uh, Internet Explorer 8 choked because it did not properly render it. It didn't crash, but it didn't properly render it. I would expect any browser to render properly pages that are written to standards. Uh, Google Chrome appears to do it. Uh, Opera is close. Ice Weasel, you would expect an older browser not to do it.